good times into YouTube. I ain't telling you as always, but it's something new today. Rather than a weapon review, this video will be the first episode of my med school series. A series where I will be looking at the combat medic class in detail and giving guides and tips and tricks to help people play this underplayed class. So, all that's left to say is, welcome to med school. This first episode will be geared towards new players and those who have yet to take up the calling of a medic with any real determination and focus. So, we will be starting with a quick breakdown of the class, plus some of my views and opinions surrounding it. Then we will dive into where I think you should invest your first lot of certs in the class, and a few quick hints and tips about playing it. And finally, a quick roundup of what has been discussed. The Combat Medic class falls into the support role as it is job to keep frontline troops topped upon health and keep away with the Reaper by reviving those comrades unfortunate enough to be on the receiving end of enemy fire. By fulfilling this role, it allows for frontline troops to keep pushing forward at a faster rate than if they weren't needed by combat medics. The difference being, it means players no longer have to make the long trek back from the spawn point to the fight. With active combat medics, they can get up and straight back into the fight. In order to keep its fellow soldiers alive, the combat medic has two main tools at its disposal. The first of these is a medical applicator tool. This is your main weapon against death, as it can be used for both the task of reviving and healing friendly players. The second key tool is an AoE heal ability called the Nano Regen Device. The AoE effect this emits is ideal for group fights where lots of people require healing at the same time. Plus, as an added benefit, it also heals you in the process, acting similar to a restoration kit, as it has a heal over time effect on you and surrounding friendlies. The Combat Medic class also has access to specific AoE healing based grenades. These come in two forms, the Nanite Healing and the Nanite Revive Grenades. As these are rather cert heavy, these will be featured in a later video. Right next, let's talk weapons. At the end of the day, we all like guns, and this class does have combat in its name. As with all infantry classes, bar from the max, the Combat Medic has access to the SMGs, meaning if you already own one, you do have a good alternative weapon for close range combat. Whilst on close range, the Combat Medic also has access to the shotguns, giving you two solid options for those close up and personal situations. But the Combat Medic's standard weapon is the Assault Rifle, and it also is the only class to have access to them. In Planet Side 2, the Assault Rifle seems to fall somewhere between a Carbine and an LMG. As for my opinions of the class, I think it is one that has a vital place on the battlefield and is drastically underplayed. You might think to yourself, why is a Medic class important when Death and Araxis is only as long as a spawn timer? Just think, when the Sunderers go down, without a Medic present, the fight is normally almost lost within 30 seconds or so. With medics present, the fight can keep going till some degree till the next Sundra arrives, meaning the less ground will be lost, or when you pop your clogs a far distance away from a friendly Sundra, and you would have to recover the distance to get right back into the fight. With a medic presence, this isn't the case. You may think that a healing class would be tedious to play, but the clue is in the name Combat Medic. This class isn't just a healer, it's a dealer of death also. This leads me onto ways in which I think this class can and should be played, often depending on the situation. Let's start by splitting down the name, the Combat Medic. It has two roles on the battlefield. These areas are a Combat Class and as a Medic Class. These two roles can intertwine to make a very effective class, or can be played separately to create effect also. The Combat side is great for the Lone Wolf player, as with Medic's ability of a Nano Regen device, acts as a self-heal, meaning they can keep top of health away from friendlies. The medic side is great for squads, as a squad with a medic or two is much more effective than those without, as it can keep pushing forward rather than having to fall back as its members fall to the enemy fire. As with a medic present, you'll be able to heal and revive these squad members. The beauty of the class is that it can play both of these roles at the same time, and switch to what is required. As you can go in all guns blazing with the rest of your team, then when people start taking damage and dying, you can easily swap the gun for your medical applicator and start healing and reviving your fallen comrades. As this first episode is geared towards newer players, this will be an initial cert load out. My aim was for less than 500 certs, in the end it came to a total of 422, so it's relatively affordable for new players. A more advanced loadout will follow in future episodes. Right, let's start breaking into 422 certs. First off, your main tool as a medic is a medical applicator, so here we'll spend most of the certs. I would recommend taking this up to a rank 5, a combined cost of, for each rank of 190 certs. 
The reason why I recommend this is the huge improvement gained over the base rank in its healing speeds. It increases healing by 45% and revive speeds by 45%, meaning you have to spend less time healing and reviving friendly players. Which also means you have to spend less time being defenceless, as when you're using the medical applicator, you have no offensive capabilities until you switch back to your primary or side weapon. When reviving, the gun will also revive players at improved 80% health and max at 15. As this is an added benefit, you will also add 2 meters of range to the applicator. This may not sound like a lot, but it is surprising how much easier it is to stay in cover while healing with extra 2 meters. While we are on the healing theme, let's look at the nano regen device. I would recommend taking this up to rank 5 also, at a combined cost of 91 certs. The benefit of taking this to rank 5 is that its duration will increase to 8 seconds, 2 seconds more than at rank 3. The recharge rate at rank 5 is improved by 25%, meaning you can use your ability for longer and more often. For your suit slot at this early stage, I would recommend taking flak armor up to rank 2, for a very reasonable cost of 11 certs. This will reduce the damage you take from explosions by 22%, with the amount of grenade juggling that goes on in Planet Side 2, this is a huge help. Moving on to your offensive side, by this I mean the weapons at your disposal. At this early stage, if you're a new player, I would recommend sticking with the basic starter guns, as they are still fairly capable of dealing death out to a reasonably good standard. So that's how I recommend starting here, at 30 certs on the scope. My recommended would be for 2 times reflex, as magnification is good but not overpowering for closer range engagements. I would also invest another 100 cers into a forward grip under the rail attachments. This will make that gun a little bit easier to control by helping reduce the recoil slightly. As you will no doubt have noticed, I am playing as TR and using the T1 Cycler, the same cers apply to the other factions that start weapons, these being the Pulsar VS1 for Vanu and the NC1 Gauze Rifle for the NC. The final 30 cers go into the utility slot and the first rank of the restoration kit. This is a consumable that will heal you over 6 seconds. This may seem a bit pointless at first, since the medic class already has the ability to self heal. But it is always nice to have something to fall back on, and plus once it has been unlocked it can be used in all non-max classes, so it's a bargain buy. Alright, these are just a few quick basic tips to get you going as a combat medic. I'll be going into more detail in future episodes. Right, number one, heal from cover when possible. Sounds obvious, but it's amazing how many people you see healing in the open when there is cover standing right next to them. Number two, top up player's health when you revive them. It's always nice to fully heal a player after reviving them, just to keep them alive that little bit longer in the next fight. However, once you max a medical applicator, it will automatically heal them at full health. Three. Don't heal players in a no-win situation. By this I mean, don't just heal someone so that they can be killed again, basically straight away. Most, if not all players, who hate to be arrived to be put down again without having the chance to act. 4. Make medics your priority when reviving. Reviving medics first, it makes your job so much easier, as there will be two people healing and reviving is always better than one. The combat medic is an effective support class and is ideal for new players. For the simple reason it will rake in the certs, meaning you can use it to fund your other classes. It is also one that is relatively easy to play, but I would refer to it as easy to play, difficult to master. As learning when to use all the abilities and tools at your disposal can be a little bit tricky, but overall the medic is a fun class to play both in the combat and its support role. This has been Iron Tyrant, over and out.